Salem boys and girls. Today I will be reading you a story called Paper Planes. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's get started. Mia and Ben make paper planes and wish that one day they might make a paper plane that can fly all the way across the lake. But when their families move apart, can Mia and Ben stay friends and realize their dream? Hmm, let's find out. Mia and Ben were the very best of friends. They lived side by side on the edge of a great wide lake. Together, they sailed and sailed and sailed. And sang and sang. But what they loved to do most of all was making paper planes. In the winter, when geese flocked to the lake, Mia and Ben would raise their planes with the birds above, and in the summer, when the geese had gone, they would climb into the hills and watch their planes circle slowly home. Perhaps, one day, they would make up a plane that could fly all the way over the lake. Then. The friends had terrible news. Ben had to leave. His family was moving to a new home a long way away. Mia and Ben felt crushed. They promised never to forget one another. Sobbing planes before they said goodbye. As the days passed, Mia missed Ben very much. Way over the sea, in a busy city, Ben was lonely too. Winter arrived. When the keys came back, Mia would have to raise them on her own. Hot, angry tears fell from her eyes. They would never make a plane that could fly across the lake. Mia took the plane that Ben gave, had given her and smashed it on the ground. That night, as the moonlight crept across her bedroom floor, Mia heard something. Was it the wind? No! It was the sound of a distant geese calling and the beat of the powerful wings. Down in the garden, she spied the broken plane, but it looked different somehow. Mia hurried outside for a closer look. Ben's plane was as good as new. The swish and the chatter of the keys grew louder and the world wind began to blow. As the wind went across the around its wings, the plane started to get bigger. Ooh. Soon it was large enough for me to climb on board. Then one huge gust whisked up into the air. Ooh. The geese were right overhead now. The feathers shining silver in the light of the moon. Climbing at terrific speed, Mia joined the flock. Crossing the land and the sea, they rushed through the night. Up ahead, Mia saw something else in the sky. Could it be? Let's find out. It was the plane she had given Ben, and there was Ben waving and smiling. The two 
pilots flew fiercely together, souping and skimming and soaring. Mia wished they could stay together forever. But as the sun began to rise, she knew it was time to go back home. And in the bed of a wing, Mia found herself back to her bedroom with Ben's plane in the palm of her hand. At breakfast time, a passer arrived for her. Inside was a brand new plane, but it had no wings. There was, n there was also a note inside which read, Dear Mia, I really need your help to finish this plane. No one else can make the wings like you do. From Ben, love you. Mia remembered her flight with the kids, how their long necks stretched and their wide wings beat, and all the weeks she started working and working and working. In the springtime, Mia took the new plane down to the water's edge and threw it up into the air, soaring higher than any plane they had ever made before. It souped above the last of the geese. It flew all the way across the lake. Mia and Ben could still make paper planes together. The best plane in the world. They would always be friends. They would never be too far apart. The end. <laughs>